Hi, this is 8-Bit Jeff here, and welcome to the first episode of the history of Asteroids games on Atari consoles and computers. Atari released Asteroids in 1979, and then they went on to create official versions on quite a number of their systems, including the 2600 one, which we're going to talk about in detail today. also came out in various versions. This is the Sears one. They next came out with an Atari 7800 version, which we'll cover in a future episode. They had an Atari ST version. Of course, they had an Atari 8-bit computer version. And then we're also going to cover all of the clones and all of the hacks and all of the homebrews. So, for instance, here is a rare one from Video 61. You can only purchase this. They do not have a ROM out that you can play. This is Megaoids. And this is for the Atari 8-bit computer. We'll be covering that one in episode number two. Okay, enjoy episode one, and there's a lot of episodes of the History Series coming up. So thank you, and into the vertical blank. Into the vertical blank. History Series. Asteroids on Atari Consoles and Computers. Part 1. The Atari 2600. Asteroids, developed by Ed Logg and Lyle Raines, was released by Atari in 1979, and it quickly became one of their most popular games as well as one of the most popular coin-ops in history. The simple Sisyphusian brilliance of cleaning up a screen of floating rocks, dodging and then destroying saucers, and then having another go as the difficulty edged forward more and more, combined with the Jaws-like music made for a game where a player could enter the zone, block out everything but the glowing vectors on the screen, and blast away. Players earned an extra ship every time they accumulated 10,000 more points, making a dangerous but highly effective saucer hunt with few rocks on the screen a very desirable gameplay strategy. Soon, strategies such as this saucer hunt became so popular that the best players were able to play for hours on a single quarter. Atari combated this in 1981 with the Dave Shepard designed Asteroids Deluxe, a much more difficult variation with more enemies who would chase after the player, make it a much more difficult saucer hunt. Asteroids Deluxe replaced the randomly lethal hyperspace of Asteroids with a more refined shield as a safety net. Although Asteroids Deluxe was improved, it was not as successful as the original. The third Asteroid-style game was Space Duel, released in 1982 after lackluster sales of Asteroids Deluxe, with options to have one or two players using a single or tethered ship blasting more geometric shapes. This added even more difficulty to this version and a challenging stage unlike the Galaga non-lethal version where the player ship could actually be destroyed while collecting bonus points added to the difficulty. Space Duel retained the shields from Asteroids Deluxe, making it a combination of the first two games with its own added features such as two-player competitive and cooperative play, as well as the option for a single player to play with two tethered ships at one time. Modern game ideas didn't bypass the now untethered from both Warner Communications and Jack Trammell's Atari Corp when Atari Games released Ed Rotberg's full raster Asteroids game, Blasteroids, in 1987. This came complete with ship upgrades and much more detailed graphics, but with a new increased difficulty. The player had to contend with limited fuel that can only be replaced by picking up replacement canisters and the energy doubled as the player's shield. When all the energy is gone, the player is destroyed. Blastroids also added bosses to contend with and retained the two-player cooperative play of Space Duel, adding the ability for the two-player ships to dock and create one super blaster. Atari, as well as many other developers, have released many official and unofficial clones, hacks, and homebrews of these games for Atari consoles, even up to this day. We will try to cover all of them we can find in this series, starting with the Atari 2600 in Part 1. Note, 
In most cases, we're limiting this to single screen or scrolling screen games modeled after the original rock and geometric shape blasting arcade games. We will take a look at a few games that don't 100% fit in that mold, but not a comprehensive look at them, at least in this series. Part 1, the Atari 2600. The first game we'll take a look at is the original cartridge, Asteroids, released by Atari for the 2600 in 1980. Don't mind the colored rocks. The arcade game is intact here and is a lot of fun. There is very little diagonal movement to the rocks though, making this much easier than the arcade release. Atari added 66 variations of asteroids to this cart, splitting 33 different gameplay combinations between one or two players. Selections like fast or slow rocks, when extra ships are awarded, and whether pulling back on the stick triggers hyperspace, asteroids deluxe like shields, or a 180 flip of the player ship add to the enjoyment. The A difficulty switch adds arcade saucers, the small ones, and satellites, the Atari console name for the larger arcade saucers. Suicide Mission by Starpath Arcadia for the Supercharger 2600 add-on started out as Meteoroids, a very nice asteroids clone modeled on the arcade original with inertia, rock blasting, and saucers, but swapping out hyperspace for a rapid fire machine gun of bullets when pulling back on the joystick. Probably for legal reasons, the release version came out as Suicide Mission, which replaces the asteroids movement with more tank-like controls, and the asteroids are replaced with a virus in the body. You have been shrunk down to combat the illness with penicillin torpedoes. Pulling back no longer fires an array of bullets, but instead adds a screen in quotes, as they call it, or actually a shield, for a few seconds. But if you instead switch the difficulty to B, it adds the meteoroid salvo of shots instead of the screen shield. Three difficulty levels mean there is a version of this game for every family member on your couch. Mission 3000 AD by Bit Corporation, released in 1982, is a fun combination of asteroids and the eight-way movement of Time Pilot or Bosconian. You stay in the middle of the screen and everything else moves around you. This game has you manning the Thunderhawk to destroy star bases indicated on your radar screen. It looks pretty good, but it's a little difficult to control. We could not find much information on Atari Age about this game, but Atari Mania's 2600 section has quite an extensive set of information on it and its various versions. It's not really asteroids, but it's something to look at if you like these types of games. We sure do. Three D Havoc by Amiga. Yes, that Amiga is a prototype of a pretty simple but fun 3D rock shooter that really needs classic red and blue glasses to enjoy. We had a lot of fun with this one. Difficulty switches toggle your shields, B for them up and A for them down. This was originally designed as a cassette loaded game for the Amiga cancelled power module for the 2600, a power play cartridge with three of the planned 3D games now in 2D form seems to have been given a release sometime in 1983. Hacks and Homebrews Hacks and Homebrews of the Atari 2600 Asteroids cartridge started appearing as early as 1998 as far as we can find. First was the Vector Edition Asteroids hack by Franklin Cruz. This impressive hack replaces the solid rocks, player ship, and saucers with outlines making it look much closer to its arcade counterpart. Asteroids SS by Scott Stilpin was released in 2002. It looks very similar to the Vector Edition, but adds extra player ships to the top of the screen and is modeled on the newer released ROM with the Atari copyright before the game starts. The newly designed Rocks, Player Ship, and Saucers are all outlines and look a bit cooler than the previous editions. 
Asteroid 2 by Nick Patterson is a 2003 hack of Atari asteroids that removes the shade from inside the rocks like others, colors in their lines, but the player ship and saucers are still filled in, just like the original cart version. Asteroids DC Plus by Thomas Jentz in 2002 removes the shade from the rocks and upgrades some of the sprites. Most importantly, it adds more diagonal movement to the asteroids, making it the first hack of the original cart to play very close to the arcade original. This version also adds the ability to use the paddle controllers for ship control. Thomas then hacked out the 2003 Sasteroids, or Sadistic Asteroids, which is a sadistic, much more difficult hack of asteroids, also using many of the same changes he added for the DC Plus version. The 2005 Asteroids Arcade by Eric Schwartz removes all the color, leaving white pixels and some upgraded sprites for a more refined look and feel. The asteroids also move in diagonal directions. Extra ships are also added to the score panel. This is based on Thomas Gent's asteroid disassembly and ideas he had in Sasteroids to make the game much more difficult. But this is Eric's unique creation with its own copyright screen. Amoeba Oys by Jamcat destroyed the single cell menace in this 2005 graphics hack that looks and plays a little bit like the Starpath Meteoroids prototype. The 2002 hack, Asterhawk by Charles Morgan, is a combination of asteroids and Intellivision Spacehawk with modified sprites. There seems to be slightly more diagonal rock movement here than in the original Asteroids version. Borg Wars by Jack Kortkamp is a 2003 hack with probably our favorite asteroids hero ship design on the 2600. You fire at Borg ships instead of asteroids and the saucers look like TIE Fighters. Borg Wars Plus by Atari Troll is a 2004 hack that assimilates Sasteroids and Borg Wars into the Borg. The saucers are now Federation ships instead of Titan. Water War by Neo Tokyo 2001 is a 2003 Asteroids hack where you take on Beasts of the Dark Sea. Meteoroids Black is a nice hack of Star Path's Meteoroids prototype from 2005 by Kurt Howe for the Supercharger. The background color has been changed to a nice dark space theme. And finally, probably the best, Space Rocks is an Atari Age 2017 released game that is possibly the best Asteroids or Asteroids Deluxe game you'll play on the 2600. It uses the DPC Plus driver and plays a rocking version in multicolor or your choice of single color with both filled in or non filled in rocks. The game is smooth and offers features like shields, 180 flip, and hyperspace. It plays exactly like the Asteroids Deluxe arcade machine and is so smooth you'd swear it was 16 bit. This homebrew is by Daryl Spice Jr. Bob D. Crescenzo and Nathan Strom. It is, like we said before, the best Asteroids action you can play on a standard 2600 right now. In part two, we will dive into the Atari 8-bit computer, namely all of the games released for the Atari 400, 800, XL, XE, and XEGS, as well as 5200 in the Asteroids genre.
to the purple flag. An 8-Bit Rocket Studios production.